I didn't think it would end this way. End? No, the journey doesn't end here. Death is just another path. One that we all must take. The grey rain curtain of this world rolls back and all turns to silver glass. And then you see it. What? Gandalf. See what? It appears Gandalf has seen an old video from my channel. Now this was probably uploaded around three months ago, four months ago, something like that. And I knew some of you really wanted to see some of my older videos. So I'm going to leave some of the original commentary in this video because I actually was really, really happy with it. And I cannot remember the exact reason why I took it down. But it only got like 500 views or something. I, I can't remember, to be honest. But I really enjoyed this video. I've just watched it through. I had a bit of a nostalgia trip. And I hope you guys, some of you, some of the long-term subscribers would feel the same. So, enjoy. Darkness took me. And I strayed out of thought and time. Stars wield no end. And every day was as long as a life age of the earth. I think I'm starting to realise why this video may not have gone down well with you guys. I think it might be the endless Lord of the Rings quotes in the background. So I'm going to cut up this intro just a little bit and then we'll get to the main video. It's over. The world of men will fall. And all will come to darkness. I do not know what strength is in my blood. But I swear to you, I will not let the White City fall. Hello guys and welcome back. In today's video, we are looking at something that I am super super excited for and that is the fall of mordor situations mod now in this particular showcase we have the sacrifice of faramir which is when faramir himself is sent out of minas tirith with a troop of his very finest horsemen to retake osgiliath from the invading mordor armies and it's easily one of the most epic scenes in lord of the rings and it's one of my personal favorites and actually being able to ride out of minas tirith as part of faramir's charge is really really cool and something that you guys definitely need to try now if you really want to experience this all you have to do is join a clan i mean just take your pick from the ones in the description there's rohan there's gondor there's isengard there's arnor there's so many different ones and then basically the clan leaders will sign their clans up for these events via the forums and then they will give their members the time that it is actually happening also make sure you download both mods the one for the situations and one for the team deathmatch both of them will be in the description, so all you have to do is download them and put them in your Warband Modules folder. Anyway, this is the last round that my clan played as Gondor, so I'm going to do a quick narration over what happened. So right off the start, you can see me riding into a wall and completely failing. However, I decide to follow my fellow Gondorian teammates and go in for that couch lance on that archer, completely missing it, and I think I actually damaged my teammate, which wasn't the best idea in the world. However, I think I turn around here, yes I do, and I 
think I spotted some Mordor infantry over here and this archer on the wall and I missed the shot completely yet again. However, this archer was trying to shoot my teammate and I kill him. What an easy kill. I expected to ride out of there. However, there was an invisible wall. So I kind of got myself a little bit caught up with those archers that are actually glitching on top of that wall. And um, I'm not sure if that was allowed, but you know, we're not going to talk about that now. And this guy with the massive two-handed axe thing um, actually was going to kill me. Very easy. He was a good player. And we actually took off Gilly at that time. We captured both of the capture points and the next round started. However, the next round didn't actually happen because the map was reset and we had to change teams to Mordor and it was our turn to defend. Who now has the strength to stand against the armies of Isengard and Mordor? To stand against the might of Sauron and Saruman A new power is rising! Its victory is at hand! This night, the land will be stained with the blood of Rohan! March to hell's deep! Leave none alive! Gandalf does not hesitate to sacrifice those closest to him. Those he professes to love. Tell me, what words of comfort did you give the half before you sent him to his doom? The path that you have set him on can only lead to death. Hello and welcome back. Now I'm hoping you're enjoying these little cutscenes I'm doing between the factions. I want to be doing this a little bit more, however it does take quite a lot of time so don't expect them, you know, every video. So we're going to be doing my commentary over this next part. It was the only good round for Mordor. I mean the other rounds I either crashed or nothing really happened, so enjoy. This round started with a lot of walking around, as you can see, most of us were archers, we had a few infantry men, as you can see, with the shields and the little, um, I suppose you can call them swords, I mean they weren't really swords, they were tiny, so I found myself a little ledge and started to fire arrows into the Gondor cavalry, upon noticing us coming up behind them, they charged, and that was a decent charge, they picked off a few of them, as you can see in the kill feed, but we were killing so many of them, I mean we killed two or three of them in that initial charge, which was really, really good considering our numbers and the ratio between our numbers and their numbers. Two of them just collided into each other, leaving them extremely exposed to arrow fire. I'm still hitting a few of them. I'm trying to hit their horses because as soon as they're dismounted, we just swarm them. And Zulu of Gondor saved my life there as one of the Gondorians charged towards me. Um, and that wouldn't have made a very good video. However, this guy... He was very resilient, you've got to give it to him, however, I'm, I was good at blocking this, this day. And I think, did I kill him? I cannot remember. However, continuing the round, I was in spectator. However, you can see the kind of layout of the battlefield with the Gondorians actually killing a lot of us at this point. I mean, you can see the kill feed. If it's in red, that means the Gondorians are killing us, basically. However, our numbers were just overwhelming. And you can see the flag is at half-mast here. So they have got it down. As soon as that reaches the bottom, they win. So it was a very intense fight with uh, some more archers firing into the Gondorian lines. But from what we can see in the background there, the Gondor people actually being overrun. I mean, one of them tried to come up behind and take out the archers, but one of the infantry killed him instantly. My camera work here wasn't very good. I, I think I've recovered, though. And look at this Gondor guy. His shield's broken. He's all alone. He's got one friend, actually. No, his one friend just saved him, stabbed that orc in the back. And this guy, he's not really sure what he's doing. I mean, he's milling around. He's, got, he's outnumbered, oh, and he's just got shot in the back. And it turns out that Mordor has won, and we did win that round. And it was a very fun round, that one, and the best one for Mordor. So guys, this is the end of the video. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. It's been a lot of fun playing the Sacrifice of Faramir. Next week, I think we're going to have the Siege of Helm's Deep. However, I'm not 100% sure because I don't even know if Helm's Deep is finished yet in terms of the map. However, we do have a very exciting opportunity of a shield battle on Sunday, which is next Sunday, not this Sunday. I mean, when YouTube videos go out, it gets confusing. However, next Sunday we have this shield battle, which is basically where the two armies are put into an open field, and basically, you fight each other to the death. 
it can get very, very exciting, especially with the long lines of shield walls, especially the different tactics used and the different maneuvers. It's going to get very, very intense. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching one of my older videos. I just wanted to say thank you as well for 15,000 subscribers. It's just ridiculous and really surprising. But I'm going to carry on. The aim is to get 100k eventually. That's the aim. I don't know when, but that's my aim. And I'll do a face reveal at 100k as well. I'm saying it, now, saying it now. If we ever reach that number, of course. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. It's been a brilliant... Um, I think six months, seven months. I mean, I started recording Persistent World in about eight months ago, I think. Uh, that's when I first joined Stark. So it's been absolutely amazing. And thank you to all of you, every single one of you so much. And I will see you in the next one.